All right, all right. Hey guys, Sagittarians, welcome back. Thank you so much for being patient. Thank you so much for your lovely messages. Yes, I was out of commission for about a week. I had a real bad bout of asthma, but uh, my voice is mostly back. It's just a little raspy still. So I am back and I thank you very much. Um, next week we should be back to normal, but um, yeah, I've been ramping up slowly. So right now I'm doing a reading because we just came through the, um, the hunter's full moon and you know, the ancients used to look at that hunter's moon as a time where animals were fattening themselves up, a time to like gather the things that you were going to need for resources. Um, and I thought it would be nice to do a reading about what are, what is the energy that you are gathering? What kind of energy is gathering around the Sagittarius? So let us begin, shall we? You just got four cards out. Um, the first is the only one that is in the upright. It is the Eight of Pentacles. And what I love about this is this is Ganesh, remover of obstacles. Eight of Pentacles talks about, oftentimes we look at it as like um, improving our circumstances financially. But in this case, this could also be more about elevating ourselves in a like a spiritual sense or a personal growth sense. So what we have here is a combination of growth that leads to, I'm going to say, paving the way for an easier, smoother ride through life. Um, it's, it's as if some of you are gathering some kind of deep awareness, some kind of, um, not to say that you weren't already enlightened, but it seems as if you're having a second or third or fifth or 20th breakthrough in some other area of your life that's about to make things go a lot smoother than before. So whatever area there may have been complication in, it looks as if it's like, oh my gosh, things are getting so much smoother. Why didn't I, why didn't I see this before? Well, it's not about why didn't anybody see something before. It was probably all about timing. It was all about experience. It was all about, you know, building blocks of knowledge. The Eight of Pentacles does talk about the work that we've done and the work that we'll continue to do. Now, the other three cards that I said all came out in the reverse, uh, this is overcoming or leaving behind a situation where there may have been a lot of arrogance in the way. This could be a person that you dealt with. This could be a situation that you're saying, I don't want any more uh, circumstances in my life that are going to be riddled with um, unnecessary obstacles. Okay. So the obstacles that have to do with someone whose ego or jealousy gets in the way. If that is the energy that someone is operating out of, you are in a vantage point now where you can see that clearly. You can say, that's why we couldn't seem to get on track. That's why we weren't on target with each other because there was significant blockage. And that is why it doesn't matter how many times I reconcile. It doesn't matter how many times I try to shake hands with somebody. It doesn't matter how many times we try to fix things. If the other person is still dealing with an egocentric um, viewpoint. And, and of course, ego, I don't mean to say that ego is bad. We all have ego. We've, we have to have some of it. But this, the king of wands in the reverse is somebody who is stubborn, about anything that even if it's a great idea, if it wasn't their idea, they're not going to do it because they don't want to have to tell somebody else that, wow, you had a better idea than I did. That's amazing. That's going to be so much better. That's going to flow smoother. This is a person who would simply sit there and if they can't control every aspect of something, they're not going to do it at all. Um, it's again, it's, it's competitiveness. It's some jealousy. It's some ego in the way. If that is the energy in a scenario, and this doesn't have to be talking about a person, but it certainly could be. It's as if you have recognized that's where those blockages are. Now, could this be a little self-check where it's like, hmm, have I ever been the one who was being, um, you know, my pride got in the way. If, if someone else had a better idea than I did, was I less likely to, um, you know, support that idea because it's like, man, I wish I had thought of that. You know, like there's, there are tendencies that all humans have once in a while and we got to check ourselves and be like, oh, you know what? Let me step back and say, wow, even though I'm the one in charge, this other person had a really great suggestion. I should go with what they said because I can see how that's actually a better idea than mine was, even though I'm the one who's supposed to be coming up with the ideas and making the decisions. 
there's, there's this awareness, um, which I think is a huge step toward enlightenment. When we can check ourselves like that, we can say, okay, what is truly the most sophisticated idea or the best idea? What's going to bring about the greatest results? Whoever has that great idea, I can totally, you know, clap them on the back and be like, good job. Let's go with your ideas better than mine. You may already be that kind of a person, but you might've been dealing with someone who was not that. And it, it's kind of, I feel like it's become obvious to you who in your world or who in your environment or who you dealt with, possibly a lover, who was behaving from that, that headspace, that ego headspace that we've just described. And because of that, I, I can't, I mean, this is kind of a harsh, harsh read perhaps, but it's what you're gathering around yourself. What Sag is gathering right now is this newfound sense of awareness that sometimes maybe, maybe people are going to stay in that energy. And if they do that, then there's not going to be this happy, like, oh, let's just iron out the wrinkles. We can all get along. Sometimes it's like, well, I can get along with you, but if you're always going to push back, perhaps I just have to let you go your own way. And that's really what this is. This is releasing something without sadness, without sorrow, because if there was an energy around you where no matter what, someone would always say, I'm not going to cooperate because your idea was better than mine. Therefore, I'm jealous, but I'm not going to admit it. Instead, I'm just always going to create more drama. I feel as if you're realizing if that is someone's decision to behave that way, or if they're not awakened enough to realize that they behave that way, then it isn't something that could be necessarily smoothed out. Not until this person wants to change. Almost the way, you know, they always say that um, someone who's like addicted to something, they don't stop having an addiction because you want them to, or someone who loves them wants them to. They only change when they are ready to change. It has to come from the individual. So no matter how much you think, well, this is this has got to be an easy fix, right? You know, I can reason with someone, I can rationalize with them. But in this, it's almost as if there's this awareness that there are some people that they have to lay down their gigantic shield of, of ego before they'll be able to be reasonable. And until they do that, there's not going to be that happy, like, let's iron out the bumps, let's get on the same page. So instead, to move on, move away from this is not a tragedy because, hey, if if this is, everybody has a right to be who they are. And if this is how somebody operates, whether they're aware of it or not, Sagittarius seems to be aware that there is someone in their environment where that's just how it is. And until that changes and it's out of the control of the Sag, until the person who operates that way chooses to change, there's not much the Sag can do about it. So you release it without sorrow, without hurt, without pain. And you go, okay, well, they're going to have to change those, those things on their own. All right. So that's a pretty profound, um, like I'm going to say a profound sense of understanding to gather around oneself. That's, that's remarkable actually, because this is releasing something without hurt and pain, even though there was great potential here, but there's this acknowledgement that it, it is only untapped potential. If someone does not wish to cooperate, Seven of Swords in the reverse. No lies, no um, self-deception, no deceiving of others. I feel like this is a wonderful and um, cathartic kind of a reading because there's no immaturity in this reading. What Sag is gathering around themselves is truth, clarity, um, change. The change that comes with, I feel like Sag is healing a big wound. Wow. 10 of cups came out and it did come out in the reverse. This is a huge amount of acceptance that where there was not happiness to be had because someone was going to be a continual obstacle, whether that was in a career or whether that was in a romance or whether that was in a family or a friendship, whatever this was, whomever is still just so entrenched in the ego, it's not going to become this happy you know, like cooperative effort. And therefore it wouldn't have made Sagittarius happy. Sag has realized that and is saying, okay, 
I want, I want to be happier than this. I want to sincerely move in the right direction so that I feel comfortable and I feel like I have a partner instead of an adversary. And it, it's gotten really easy. It's become very simple for Sag to see it this way. So I want to check in from the other, other perspective now because, because <laughs> that's how I roll. <laughs> Ooh, five of pentacles in the reverse a second time. So this... Mm. Uh, I gotta say, whomever the egotistical person is, they are actually of the opinion that if Sag walks away, oh, it's fine. I know that this will all still work back out. I'm not even stressed out about this. They may not be stressed out about it now, but we got that. This came out sideways, but I'm going to show it to you upright. Um, the truth of it is, I, I think that... Someone is, no, Aries. I'm sorry, my puppy is barking. Um, someone is under the impression that if Sag says, oh no, I'm not going to deal with this drama, it's okay. Sag will get over it and then we'll just start fresh. We'll just start new. I don't have to apologize. I don't have to really change anything. It's almost like they think that there can be a fresh new beginning. Um, so they're not concerned about this. Time is going to show them differently because I feel like this is a significant change in Sagittarius. The, whoever this person is, this the king of wands that we saw in the reverse, Aries, hush my love. I feel like they may be very surprised to discover that they start to really feel regrets. It's, it's interesting because I feel like this only comes about because Sagittarius is making a very significant and very... Um, True and wholehearted approach, wow, to changing things. You know what's amazing? They just got that Eight of Pentacles as well. But this um, this may be the only thing that would have ever sincerely made somebody start to work on themselves. This Eight of Pentacles, somebody wants to actually transform themselves. Somebody may start to work on themselves, develop other traits in themselves because Sagittarius is walking away. At first they go, oh, whatever. It's not really over. Sag loves me. We'll be back together. And then they kind of sit and they wait and they wait and they wait and they wait. And they realize Sag is not on their way back. Sag is drifting further and further away. And these blossoms are falling off this branch. This five of cups, this is huge regret. This is somebody who's like sinking slow because they realize Sag had it up to here with my behavior. I can't have Sag back unless I'm the one who changes. Could I change? Could I do that? Heck yeah, they could do that. Oh, I love this. I love the fact that um, Sag didn't play a like a bluffers game where it's like, okay, I'm not going to talk to them for a while until they behave better or until they apologize, blah, blah, blah. But really, I'm never gone out of their life. No, Sag is like, wow, that's who this person is. Well, they have a right to be that person. And it's not going to make me happy if this is how they treat me or if this is how they behave. So the truth of it is, I'm not happy. I'm not happy if I'm with this person the way they are. Therefore, since they have a right to be who they are, I simply have the only choice left to make, which is to move on from my own happiness. And it's like that sincerity, it's not charged with anger. It's not charged with recrimination. It's not charged with all kinds of, you know, over the top emotions. It's just like... I feel like Sag is just being so factual. Like, truth is, somebody behaves in a way that doesn't resonate well with me. They have a right to be who they are, but I can't do it. So I'm going to have to move on because I'm not happy like this. And Sag really means it and they really move on. This person, it's, it's not a rude awakening. Rather, it might have been the only thing that could have ever made them recognize I have to work on me. I think it's very interesting and very nice, actually, to see um, you began with this huge amount of awareness to say, hey, I don't want a life full of struggles. I want to go ahead and change. And maybe you really tried to help this person, um, help them feel more comfortable, more confident, more, you know, easygoing. And maybe it just couldn't, couldn't seem to smooth it out. This could be like with a coworker at work where it's like, hey, you don't have to always be, you know, trying to one up everybody. Like we're colleagues, we're not adversaries. And 
they just couldn't handle it that way. They couldn't see it that way. So eventually you just kind of stop talking to them. And it's like, oh, whatever, you're eating lunch by yourself because I don't want to sit around and, you know, sit across from you and have you continuously like try to, you know, act like we're competitors when really we're supposed to be friends and colleagues. We're supposed to collaborate. And I feel like someone realizes, wow, I didn't need to be that way. Certainly not with Sag. Huh, could I change? This this pushes somebody into the change that they needed to make all along. I feel like you are instrumental in helping this person get there. That's really beautiful that the energy that surrounds you. <laughs> oh my God. And now the energy that they come back towards you with is, honestly, this person has changed tremendously. They're coming back in as a king of cups in the upright. So they went from a king of wands in the reverse, arrogant, possibly passionate and fiery, but arrogant. And now instead they're turning themselves into something much more sincere. Um, the fire and the passion has been turned into actual awareness of their emotions. It's almost like this person is becoming self-aware, like, wow, I was, I'm full of emotion. I didn't know how to deal with emotions. I didn't know where to put an outlet for my behavior. I didn't know how to articulate my emotions. I'm, I'm actually in control of that now. Now this person still has sharks inside of them, right? We all do. But you see the sincerity in their eyes here? I feel like whoever this is, they actually realize that I almost feel, Sag, like you are possibly the only person on earth who could have helped this person to grow. And this person knows it. I, I feel like if they're coming back in to have conversation, which is this King of Cups can emote. They know how to speak what is in their heart. And this person, they're, you see, they're holding on to their ship, right? This is something that um, they're in a much more relaxed energy. I feel like this person is going to shock you by coming in so humble. They may want to offer you something incredibly significant. That ship is, I would classify that ship as the story of their life. It's every, every, you know, water they ever sailed through, whatever their life has been, the, the story of their life and even them understanding why they are who they are. This is somebody who may be able to, to sit down and explain like they understand now why they were defensive, why they were competitors, why they were even arrogant, what they were holding on to, why they were always, I feel like this was somebody who was continuously going to like butt heads or create a fight where there didn't need to be one. Someone is realizing like that's all they've known. And I feel like they're, they want to explain that. This could be a very beautiful and very significant um, shock. You know, I feel, and I've been feeling this for a while in most of my readings, it seems as if we are moving into a time period where a lot of people are just tired of continual conflict. It, people are, are getting to the point where it's like, I want to put my energy toward happiness. I want to put my energy toward healthy. I want to put my energy toward love. I want to put my energy toward becoming um, a better version of me and working in harmony. I, I want to construct, not deconstruct things in life. And I feel like that shift is showing up all the time in my readings right now. And I feel like it, you're the, the one who starts that moving in that direction because you truly say, I don't want any more conflict. I'm, I'm done with the conflict. And because you mean it so sincerely, it kind of influences someone else. So the energy that is around you is one of peace, truth, and that reality check that says, look, I just want to, I want a good quality life. That's what I want. And I want to not have conflict with people that I care about. So if there's continual conflict, I've got to let you go do that with somebody else. It just seems like this is such a, a breath of fresh air is what I feel like. Anyway, I thank you guys for being with me. I'm going to stop this one here. Um, like I said, I will be back to my normal schedule next week. Also, you guys might want to know that um, starting on November 1st and going all the way through January 1st, 
I every day I put out um, a bonus reading and on the bonus readings I will be doing a giveaway every single day for those entire two months so if you are a subscriber if you're watching that series of videos please do watch every day it's kind of fun I just I feel like the winter time is it can be a tough time for a lot of people I feel like it's a good time um, to have more fun um, I've got some cool things that I want to give away um, I know it's just it's just something to thank you guys for being a part of my world and um, something to keep stuff fun. We need more fun. Anyway, be well. Bye, guys.